Yes, hi, it's Jonathan Bostock, Birmingham Gems, and we're down at the Iron House, and we're at a lovely exhibition down here called The Chapters of Our Lives. And it's Janet who is going to take us on a guided tour. Janet, yes. please show us around. Okay, so the first bit is the live exhibition wall. We have six questions, different questions, and all you need to do is to take a question. I'll use this one as an example. What's the last one? Is there anything you wish you would have done differently growing up? Write your answer on the back. And then what you would then do is put it on the wall. And then you then become part of the exhibition. Which has been really good. It's just kind of filling up over the, the rest of the week. It certainly has yes. been filling up. Yeah. And then we have... I interviewed 10 different people all different professions, people that I've known I've for a long time or I've met them quite recently. And I'd asked them to give me a photograph or photographs and I had them scanned in, transferred onto fabric and using conductive materials, I've sewn uh, specific parts on there, quite subtle because I didn't want to take over the photo. And then all you will need to do is to gently touch it and you'll hear and talk. Damn, I can't remember the year. I think it was when me and my dad were starting to like do things, like in terms of like going to like gigs and concerts. Azimuth was coming to London, and I was at the time I was really into like going to like a lot of these jazz concerts and jazz gigs and stuff. And I was a bit bougie, so I went to London. I didn't even, it, it, you know, I say that, but honestly, it was quite difficult to see your favourite artist in Birmingham. So, so each, each picture tells a different story or some have got music attached to it. Um, with this particular person, Jason Winters, his dad passed away quite a few years ago. But he was also a bass guitarist, so he was a musician. And I wanted to, I thought it was a good idea for him to be able to pay homage to his, his late father. So... With this one here, you can actually hear his dad play the guitar. So I thought it was just quite fitting to actually have it there. And then as soon as you touch it, you can hear him playing. Wow, okay. It kind of so makes it come, it makes the pictures come to makes, life. Definitely yeah. makes yeah. it come alive. Yeah. yeah. So it's similar for, for everybody. They've it's it could be old pictures, it could be new pictures, but they had to choose the ones that were special to them. Um, whether or not it had any specific meaning or favourite photographs. Um, and with this one with Sandra's, it's what was significant for this, you've got three generations of women. So you've got her as a baby, you've got her older, her as a baby, that's her late mother and that's her grandmother as well. And I thought that was quite a powerful picture in itself and a lot of people have been quite drawn to this for that one of those reasons alone. And, you know, even that, you know, you can see the creases in the photographs, you can see that they are really old and, you know, they're, they're stained. You know, it was important to keep those features in there rather than having to edit it. And we, I don't want them looking new. It's almost a bit like a scrapbook, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It is. Oh, this is fascinating, Janet. Okay. So. So we even like some of the things were quite surprised. I mean, even with Morris here, he's literally just walked in through the door um, with him. And it's, it's hard because I've heard all the interviews. So I know what they're going to say. And I was just about to say, oh, with Morris in this one. And I thought, no, you need to press it and you need to hear it for yourself. Yeah. And it's just brilliant that he's actually he's here today as well, that people can actually talk to them themselves and ask more questions, which I think is absolutely fantastic. That is well. brilliant. It really is magical. Yeah. And I know you've got your own family as well. Yes. Let's I couldn't do something like this without having the family involved. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> yeah. right. So here we are, um, so this is my family and as I said before, my dad passed away um, back in 1994. We haven't got no videos, we've got no audio of him, um, but with my mum being 86 as well, you know, it was important to get these, let's get these stories out here. This is one of our favourite photographs of her when she was um, younger and she actually says why she took the photograph 
and that was when she was still in Jamaica before she came over. So even being able to hear her talk about that, it's just it's just a beautiful thing. Um, and even like when my dad's not here, my brother, even though you've just press, do you want me to press it? Okay. My dad taught me how to make shoes. I think that's something that, um, that freaks everybody else. So as a result of that, I'm a bit of a sneaker freak and a shoe freak. Um, I understand the quality and the work that goes into doing something. Uh, especially in this day and age, people don't really have like a trade, but not very many people know about that. And, you know, sitting down with my father underneath the stairs, showing me how to make the needle, make the thread, um, not say make the needle, like how to bend the needle, to how, to, how to score the, the leather, uh, how to put the knots. Janet, there is so much here and so many stories to cover, but I know there's some of the other parts of the exhibition oh, yes. that you'd like to yes. show us. I mean, even having this back wall, I mean, once the, the exhibition's over, it's going to be painted over. But the fact that my dad is right there, you know, it's quite it's quite emotional when she'd finished it so she does such a good job at a day's notice as well um, so even that being part of it it's not interactive but you know it's part of it but if we go around yeah. to another part So even having a, a VCR, I've actually got my degree show from 1994 showing. Okay. But people come and they look at these videos, like when Top of the Pops was still on and you can, you know, you can still engage. People sit down and they'll watch the videos for a little bit. But this piece was a collaboration with uh, Bonnie Bread from I Create Not Destroy. So he's done lots of amazing artwork across Birmingham. Um, and what we wanted to do was create something that tells quite a big story in terms from our parents that have come over from the Caribbean and you know leaders in the black community that and you'll see familiar faces whether it's music whether it's tv whether you've got you know in the four corners you've got the nurses that are there and you'll be able to touch certain parts of it and you'll hear um, him actually explain parts of the, the work and, but you have to find it. And as I said, you know, you, with exhibitions, you're not allowed to touch anything. Uh -huh. I want you to touch it. Yeah. And you can feel all the textures. So if I just press that one there. Hi, this is Bunny from Create Not Destroy. And it was an absolute pleasure to create this canvas in collaboration with Feed My Creative. I simply titled this piece of art, Our People, Our Story, Our Struggle, Our Triumph. I don't want to give too much away, but I just want you to be very open when you go through this piece. You'll see a lot of words, a lot of imagery, a lot of text, and a lot of lines, which have a lot of meaning. For example, there's a section where you'll see... Janet, absolutely wonderful. It really is so engaging. Exhibition we, we need to see. The yeah. Right. So, I couldn't have something without everybody being able to have a play, and I wanted to have an interactive table. Mm -hmm. And again, it's all about touch. Um, and I had my cousin, um, DJ E Double D, to just create some little scratches and mixes for me. And I didn't want anything that was flat. So if you look on this one, it's, it is covered with a Birmingham A to Z. Right. So people are looking to see if they can recognise locations. Um, on the mixer, I have, I took copies of all my old tapes as well. Um, and then again with the, the denim. Um, I love working with denim and I thought to have something that's a bit different and again it's tactile so everything looks slightly different so all you need to do again is just touch and Please then okay show us this it's a bit loud <laughs> great so loud. all you need to and it's it's really sustainable because what I did was I brought bought turntables that were broken and for parts 
and just reuse them. So rather than being thrown away, just reuse them into something that could be used again and again and right. again and again. So, and I made my own vinyl. <laughs> And again, we've just touch. And then it's the same on that one over there as well. If I come over. This. So much fun. I bet people have had some fun. I bet they have down here. So much fun with it, yeah. What now? I mean, it, it's so much that you've actually created yeah. after the exhibition. How does it all go? That's a very good question. I, do, I don't want it to be wrapped up in bubble wrap and put in the cupboard and it's not seen again. Um, so I would like it to be exhibited. Um, but I've also got ideas of what I want to do next as well. And I want to be able to work with young people that they can get their voices in there. You know, if they are into DJing or if they are into singing and that kind of thing, that you can use your skills, your other skills. We can make something and it'll help you to present in a completely different way. So I am looking for other spaces I can exhibit. Um, I am looking to be able to do this again whether it's on a smaller or larger scales because i've got ideas that are bursting absolutely bursting to come out. there you go janet's got the ideas well it's been a fantastic tour there is so much here to see realize the exhibition is coming to an end but i don't think we've seen the last of uh, this creative it, it's fantastic and there's a lot of people out there that will be wanting to talk to you janet Thank you very much indeed for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.